in this video we're going to talk about an uh, lr circuit or rl circuit where the current is decreasing so in the last video we talk about the lr circuit where the current was increasing the current in the in inductor was increasing in this case the current in the inductor is decreasing so here is the the schematic diagram so we have a switch that can be placed either on position a or in position b when it is connected to the position a then the battery is in the circuit and then we keep the switch in the position a for a long period of time when i say long period of time that means the current in this circuit will be an std current or a constant current starts passing through this one okay because remember the moment uh, the current in an inductor does not uh, start it just takes a certain time to reach to its maximum value and that we must allow that particular time here or we must leave the switch in this position a so that there is a steady current in this circuit here okay once the switch has been in position for a long period of time then we throw back the switch to the position b so now once we connect to the position b this is position b then the current in this circuit starts decreasing and it does not come to, to zero immediately although there is no any the direct voltage source across this one it takes a certain amount of time to for the current to come to the zero you might be asking why because there is an inductor in the circuit if there is inductor in the circuit then it resists the changes as the current starts increasing it doesn't like to current to come to zero and it starts opposing it but this the strong uh, and as it starts opposing it will get weaker and weaker and f eventually the current will come to zero but it doesn't come to zero right away it takes certain amount of time and how long does it take to come to zero that depends upon the l value and then r value all right okay so now let's find out the direction of the induced current here so initially the initially this was the current direction right the current in this case was going this way but the moment we connect to the switch b the switch b the current starts decreasing the current starts decreasing and in reaction to that the inductor will produce an emf current that likes to resist the changes so that means the induced current will be in the same direction so this is the induced current in, in, in this one. At any point, the induced current will be in this direction here. So in order for the induced current to be in the same direction as the original current, this terminal must be positive and this terminal must be negative. I hope you are good on these things. But if you have any question, please write to me. And now we're going to find out how long does it take for the current to come to zero or to come to a certain percentage of its maximum value so we have this circuit here and we're going to apply Kirchhoff's law so in order to use Kirchhoff's law we're going to make a loop here let's call we can choose the direction of the loop in any direction you like to here I have chosen the clockwise direction so in this case the current and the loop direction are parallel if the current and loop are parallel then we take the voltage across the resistor as a negative and now the loop direction is going from negative to positive so we must consider this voltage as a positive value a positive epsilon l equals to zero but now we already have discussed in the self inductors that the induced emf across the inductor is given by l di over dt which we have here so i'm simply plugging this value right here and separating all the like terms so the current terms and the and the current terms on one side rl value and dt on the other side and then we have di over i so we're integrating here 
and R and L are constant terms. So I'm just keeping out and then we're integrating the time. The time is starting from zero to T. When the time is zero, then that means at that point we have a maximum current in the circuit, right? There was a maximum current because the current starts decreasing. So it, it is de start decreasing. That means at time equals to zero, it had a maximum value. And that maximum value we call as a I zero. And I is the current at any point in the circuit. So the integration of dx over x is ln x. Just remember this one. So we have di over i, so it must be ln i. That's the logarithmic function here. And the limit is i0 to i. The integration of dt is simply t. So now I have to put the limits here, ln i minus ln i0, rt over l. And one more equation, ln a minus ln b. For those who have taken the calculus class, it is A over B. So that is ln I over I0, RT over L. And this term here, I am introducing one more term here. Tau, this is pronounced as tau, is L over R. That is the time constant. That's what we have here. So now, another thing, the ln function and ln and E are inverse function. So here I have uh, the natural log. So if you want to get, if you want to solve for i0, then we have to apply the exponential function. So i over i0 in this case will be e to the negative t over tau. So just refresh, you know, refresh yourself with this inverse function here. Or you can go back and then understand the inverse function by yourself. Then I'm solving for i here, then I get i equals to i0 e to the negative t over tau here. That's the final equation we have here. And this equation tells you the current in the circuit does not decrease immediately. It is decaying exponentially. So it takes a little time to come to a certain percentage of its maximum value. Okay. Oh, now, if I ask you what is the potential drop across the, the resistor here. So then I can find out epsilon r, which is the potential drop across the resistor by i times r. i is the current in the circuit and r is the resistance value. i0, we have this number value here. Then this is the potential drop across the resistor. And, and we can also see that this is the current in the circuit as a function of time. The current starts from maximum value and it starts decreasing exponentially. And the time constant that we define here is t equals to L over R. So if I plug into this equation, uh, if you look at this equation here, let me write one more time here. So this equation uh, or this equation doesn't matter i equals to i zero e to the t and tau is l over r so this one will be r over l and the one time constant or, or let, let me just write down this way here if i simply plug this t equal is this t is this e t as a time one time constant then it will be tau over tau and that will be one so i will be i zero e to the negative one and that value is i have written down all the values here the when the time is equal to the one time constant then the current in the circuit is about 37 percent of its maximum value so in other words, we can define as a time constant for a decaying circuit or decaying current as the time for which the current in the circuit is, is the 30% of its maximum value. And if you keep doing that, then at time equals to 2 tau, so if you simply plug in here, the time equals to 2 tau, then we'll get about 13% of the, the current. So you see the current is not decaying quickly it is just taking a certain amount of time or current does not come to zero immediately it takes certain amount of time here 
okay so now let's try to understand the behavior of the inductor one more time at time equals to zero when the time equals to zero means when we when we throw the switch to the b then the current in the circuit we get here is maximum so what does this mean that means at the time the inductor behaves as a short circuit okay or just as a wire just as a wire and after a long period of time the current in the circuit is zero that means after a long period of time the inductor behaves as an open circuit that means that, that there's a gap okay at time equals to zero it simply behaves as a short circuit and after a long time it simply behaves as an open circuit okay so that means there is no current in the circuit all right so then in the next video i'm going to give you an example of the the numerical problem based on the uh, current decaying in a circuit so this is it from this video if you have any question feel free to reach out to me thank you very much